Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock, where it's a review of the movie Lockjaw, Rise of the Kulev Serpent. Or is it Kulev? Well, either way. It's a story of... You know what, before I start this up, this may actually sound a little bit familiar to you guys. In fact, this movie... Almost kind of sort of rips off two different horror movies. One you'll probably be able to pick on pretty easily. The other one, maybe, maybe not, but we'll see. It's about a guy named Alan who, as a kid, he went to his neighbor's house to steal a pencil that was magic. And he had an alcoholic, abusive dad. Well, one night, young Alan decided to draw a picture to bring to life this monster to take his dad out. After that, he put the pencil down. He never drew the monster ever again. All nine yards. Years later, Alan and his and his uh, little female friend that when they, when they were kids are married. His wife decides to go out go out into the street to get the mail or something like that. And these kids who have a who plan on going to do some heavy drinking and partying and all that, hit her and don't even realize it because they thought they hit a small animal. So then Alan decides to, you guessed it, resurrect the evil spirit of Lockjaw, which is apparently a snake with an alligator's head. Yeah. Well... Well, the kids decide that they want to go find uh, the son of the of the fa- the son whose father originally owned the the voodoo pencil. Tell them all about it, and then it's up to Alan and a few of the remaining kids. One of them named Kelly, and it turns out that's a that's a guy, <laughs> and uh, and Sam who was Kelly's love interest in the movie, to try and take out Lockjaw. Well, it turns out Lockjaw takes out Alan by decapitating him. And in the end, DMX himself takes him out after after Lockjaw swallows Kelly, takes him out with a missile launcher. Everything seems okay until we see the evil pencil laying somewhere and possibly for somebody to pick up and make another monster. So, why did this movie suck? Because, to be honest with you, it's another one of those low-budget, bad CGI horror movies with lots of characters you're not going to like. Quite a few of them are very annoying, and uh, they they make a lot of really stupid decisions on what to do in the horror movie. Uh, DMX, who got starring credit in this one, is hardly even in it. Uh, His father is supposed to be sort of, I guess... You know, he has that voodoo accent, and when he's a kid, he's supposed to. When he grows up, he's DMX, so throw the accent out the window. Uh, It's a terribly bad movie. Uh, Again, really bad CGI. Uh, The monster itself seems to change sizes every chance it gets, so it's pretty idiotic. Um, And again, uh, there's one point of it where Alan draws the kids in the... In the, uh, I want to say it was some kind of a Bronco or might have been a suburban truck or something like that. I don't really remember. Uh, apparently, he drew all the kids in the truck, even though he may not have really seen all of them. But yeah. So, did you guess what this kind of sounds like? Well, if you said Pumpkinhead, very good, because it is pretty much more or less a ripoff of Pumpkinhead. And the drawing part. Is uh, it, it pretty much to me? It sounded like a movie called Cellar Dweller, which is pretty much same plot. Uh, a woman starts drawing a creature on her piece of paper. Um, monster comes to life. Has kind of a double twist ending to it. Not a bad movie, but uh, whatever. But uh, whatever I ever said about bad about Pumpkinhead. Honestly. I like it better than this piece of crap. This was really, really bad. So there you guys go. My review of Lockjaw, Rise of the Kulev Serpent. 
Wow. Give DMX starring credit, and he's in it maybe a total of 20 minutes total, and it's about an hour and a half movie, so. Well, don't get mad at me, Snakey. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. If you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that made two bad things into something worse, send it my way, and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay strong, and rock on. Even if he doesn't like it.